Hello and welcome to Lot 49. UNICEF recently released a report highlighting that between 2016 and 2021, 40.9 million children from 44 countries were forced to flee their homes. The report also describes how 95% of those child displacements were caused by flooding and storms. Somalia and South Sudan had the highest number of child displacements from flooding, with 10.7 and 11.8% of their child populations respectively being forced from their homes due to the disasters. Much of the global south faces multi-pronged threats from climate change. For example, more than half of global child displacements caused by drought during the six-year period were also recorded in Somalia. Children in countries facing multiple crises, such as war and poverty, are also at heightened risk of being displaced. It is in these countries where risk mitigation, adaptation and preparedness, including embracing preemptive evacuations and other climate mobility options to save lives and minimise any disruption to children's access to critical services, is most urgent, the report stated. But it is not just flooding and drought that caused the displacement of children. Wildfires led to 810,000 children being displaced from their homes, with one third of those taking place in 2020. And it is not just countries in the global south affected by climate change disasters, as the countries with the highest number of children driven from their homes by wildfires were Israel, Canada and the USA. Displacements caused by out-of-control blazes are often preemptive evacuations, but they still pose risks to a child's well-being and development, the same as displacements of children in any other part of the world. Anyway, thank you for watching. This video was drawn from an article on Common Dreams by Julia Conley and the original UNICEF article. If you would like to read the pieces for yourself, check them out using the link in the description. The other sources used can also be found in the credits and down below. As with all video channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.